My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We got a beautiful looking car here, a 56 old Super 88. Now, I don't need to tell you it's beautiful. You can see that for yourself. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, study all the pictures, and get the price. Not only on this one, but we do have a few hundred collector cars all for sale at volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon, and you will be notified as the new ones are posted. But the top's down on this one. Join me. Let's go for a spin. All right, I want to say something right off the bat. This one is priced as a nice driver. It looks great from 10 feet away. I'm sure it looks brand new on your screen that you're viewing this on. And it, it looks great in person. Until you get up close and look for flaws, you will find them. But I will tell you, I was just at a small auction in Tennessee one week ago. There was a red and white 56 Pontiac that totally reminded me of this car. And it wasn't perfect, but it was really nice. I bid up to $61,000, plus there's an auction fee, and I did not get the car. I got beat out by another dealer. So he's going to have about $65,000 in that car, and he's going to mark it up from there. So that car was nicer. My point is this one is nowhere near that price, and uh, don't expect it to be perfect, but it's still a good car. I got it from a gentleman. His health is failing. This was his baby. I think his email was even 1956 old something something. And, uh, you know, it's a car he was proud of. Underneath the car appears to be solid. Uh, you know, it's got the drum brakes all the way around. The bottom of the motor looks clean. It's the hydromatic uh, transmission. It does have a custom fuel tank. It's an aluminum or stainless uh, fuel tank. And underneath just looks respectable. It's not a frame off restored car but you can see the bushings in the front and the, the control arms. They're nice. They're not ancient and rusty and they're not caked with grease. So underneath is respectable. Uh, the car shows well because it's actually straight. You know, when something fits nice and it's straight, look at all the body gaps are real nice. The paint is polished real glossy. Now where the downfall is, uh, there's a scratch right here. And for some reason, there's a whole number of chips right here that are touched up. And there's a few chips there. But this door is straight. It fits nice. The moldings, the stainless moldings are straight and shiny. Well, actually, there's some dimples right here. Door handle shiny. Uh, it's got red rims. The hubcaps are really nice. They are the correct Oldsmobile hubcaps. And those are BF Goodrich radial white wall tires. The trunk fits nice and square. Does have dual, they look like modern power antennas. I don't know if they work or what. I didn't really try them, but there's two antennas. But the tail lights, reverse lights, bumper, all that's in really good shape. Here's the rocket. These are fake exhaust tips. The uh, exhaust you know, tips down right underneath those. The bumper's bright. And all this trim is nice. This side of the car is straight and nice. A couple little dimples here. This is smooth down here. This is all nice. The 88 emblem's real sharp. Got a really nice set of uh, spotlights with the mirrors built right into them. I think the windshield's new because it's really nice and clear. The hood lines up nice. There are a few water spots right now. I don't know if you can notice them. Uh, we got caught in a little bit of rain pulling it in. This is the worst of it. There's actual blisters in the paint right here. Right in this lower area, there's blisters in the paint. But uh, this whole front big mouth, it looks like a, a big, big mouth bass. Uh, all the chrome is good. Not new, but shiny. All this stuff looks really nice. The interior, it looks like it was all restored maybe 20 years ago because it's slightly faded. But the seats are tight. They're not all baggy or wrinkly. You sit on them, they feel good. It's got red seat belts front and back. Carpet's a little stained. You know, new carpet will really liven this interior up. All the metal painted real nicely. The chrome overall is really sharp looking. 
Now the original radio is here, but he's got speakers and he's got the power antenna, um, but I didn't see a stereo. So maybe he had one in there at one time, uh, but it's not now. Steering wheel was repainted. <clears throat> there are some cracks in the steering wheel and the paint. Trunk compartment, respectable, just like the rest of the car. This has got the liner package, the spare, uh, but it's not new, but it's respectable. There's nothing to be ashamed of here. Weather strip is nice. A couple chips in the paint right here. Now, they didn't fold this down properly. This piece here should be underneath this boot, and then this would all snap to the seat and look nicer. It's a white convertible top. I thought it was in nice shape, but there's a, a new top still new in the box uh, that will go with the car. I just set it aside over there. So it's got power steering, power brakes. I think that's a 324 motor. This one has the four barrel, has Oldsmobile rocket valve covers. This is actually really nice. The generator looks new. The pulleys, the brackets, the air cleaner, the blower motor looks new. The exhaust manifolds. I'd go out on a limb and say this has been rebuilt. It just looks like this engine compartment was a part. It's not someone didn't get in there with spray cans and, and paint over things. Uh, it's got a newer battery with a disconnect. These are 12 volt systems. Uh, it's got the battery bolt, bolted down properly. It's got horns up front. It's got hood insulation. So it looks really good under there. Let me fire it up for you. So if you're looking for a car to throw the grandkids in and go for a cruise or take another couple, there's plenty of room. It's going to look great. You can drive this car. Everyone's obsessed, including myself, with that perfect car, and then you're afraid to drive it. You don't want the kids in it. You don't want to take it out if it's a dusty or uh, you know, raining three states over. It's got glass pack style dual exhaust. As a 12 volt receptacle under the dash, plug in your cell phone or radar detector. Big old good looking cruiser, convertible. Door shuts nice. So there you have it. Go to volocars.com. That's my impression of this car, but plenty of ways on our website to contact the salesman. They'd be happy to answer your questions or concerns. They can also make the financing, shipping, and paperwork real easy for you. Go to volocars.com. If you enjoy our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon, and you'll be the first to see the next video we post. Thanks for watching.